Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak about how life is always working for us, but more specifically about how when the hard times hit us, it might feel like life is against you, but actually life is still working for you even in those times. And I liken it a little bit to kintsugi, which is the Japanese art of fixing pottery with sort of gold or silver or platinum. And I think that's when, when things get really tough, when we kind of get broken apart. It's not that parts of us get damaged or hurt or irrevocably harmed. It's that those parts become even more beautiful because of what we've been through. Now, the reason that I want to speak about this is because I was reflecting on some times that I've been through in the past. Um, times when I've thought that I wasn't in alignment, that life was going against me, and I didn't really understand why it was happening. But on reflecting on them now, sort of in hindsight, looking back on things, I realise how it was all working in my favour. That in those times that I felt that life was against me, <laughs> it actually was helping me to let go of things that I needed to let go of so that I could actually live more fully. It was helping me to trust more deeply in the process of life. It was helping me to become more aware of my ego self, um, more aware of the need to hold on to things that actually aren't that important to me in life. Um, and I'm creating this episode today because we all tend to go through times in life where things seem to be stacked up against us and we think things such as why me? You know, why can't things go my way? Why does this always happen to me? Um, I never seem to manage to get what I want. You know, all the sort of poor me <laughs> things that we tend to go through in our heads. Um, and all of that is sort of the ego at work, sort of trying to hold on to its identity, trying to be in control of life. And yet we can't truly live if we're coming from that space. Only when we learn to let go of that side of things, when we learn to trust, when we learn to relax into the discomfort and to allow life to sort of take us where we want, where we sort of need to be going, do we start to live from a different aspect of ourselves? Um, and I think I've digressed. So I was going to say the reason for this episode is so that you can sort of hopefully when you're in one of those times when life is hard, you can hopefully see or start to see that there's a purpose even to those times. And by realising that there's a purpose to those times, it might allow you to relax sooner. It might allow it might allow you to accept what's going on sooner. It might allow you the possibility to accept that even though you can't see it right at that moment, that there might be a reason that in the future you'll look back and see why this was so important to your own evolution and how it was a positive thing in the long run and how you've gained so much from the experience that you're currently going through. And when you think, when you start to allow that possibility that in the future you might be grateful to whatever you're going through, you might start to open up a little bit of space right now in that time of hardship, in that time of pain, for a little bit of gratitude to start to sneak in. And that's when you start allowing that little space that you can then open that space up and allow a bit more space until eventually you learn to allow appreciation for whatever you're going through in life. And as soon as you do that, then you stop the resistance because the resistance is where the pain is. And next week, I'm going to speak to you a little bit more about resistance. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, and you don't want to miss out on anything else, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have anything that you want to ask me, please pop them in the comments below. I read everything that gets sent to me and I love to hear from you. If you want to know about my online courses or you want to contact me for coaching, then just go to the links in the episode notes and they will take you to all that information. So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. Bye bye.